Hello, sports fans. Welcome to VI Sports. Today, we're going to talk about the psychology of coaching, how to win, how to fight fear, and how to go through pain and get through that pain to compete. You ain't going to win anything if you can't get over your fears. I'd say 90% of it's in your head, you know, like what you're telling yourself. So in saying that, everybody has fear. All these sports you do, like you play hockey, you play basketball, you don't play boxing, you don't play kickboxing. Uh, so there's a, a little more fear factor there. Everybody has it. And my job is to let the guy know it's those, the feeling he has is, is a normal feeling. Fear is a friend. You can try to make it a friend. And if there's too much fear, then you're going to freeze like a deer in headlights. I find that, you know, learning to center yourself, breathing, calming, lowering your adrenaline is really important. Um, a lot of people over adrenalize, especially when you notice beginners or, you know, they'll see them, they get all pumped up right before the fight and, you know, and they just get tunnel vision where they actually can't hear their corner. When the adrenaline is going to flow through your body, the best, the nicest thing it shoots through your body is cortisone, which dulls pain, right? So you're not going to feel any pain anyway. Being a little bit fearful is a good thing because it, it, it gets your body ready for pain by, uh, it's almost like it puts on armor for it. And again, if you don't have that fear, you're going to feel everything. The next day you feel everything anyway, so it doesn't matter. But during the, the uh, actual fight, you're not feeling nothing. You, you, you have to have a bit of a high pain tolerance. I started playing hockey with the guys when I was six, uh, five, six years old. My parents told me right from the get-go, they said, if you want to play hockey, you know, you're never going to be able to show that you get hurt. Because the second you show that you got hurt, it doesn't matter if you should have got hurt and all the other boys are getting hurt, the second you, they'll be saying, oh, see, that's why girls shouldn't play and then they're, you're not going to play anymore. Try to train yourself to push past the pain, keep going no matter what. You gotta go in there with a, a goal of you seen yourself winning. The other fighter runs and he does his push-ups and bag work just like your guy, but what's he putting in his head? Positive thinking is everything. And that in the belief in yourself that you you wanna do it. I prefer sparring in Thailand because they have a different perspective, like they go really fast and really light. It's more common in North America for people to, to be very rough with each other at the gym. And that's and not a good thing. No, because it really shortens your shelf life. I mean, they might not be that talented, they might not have all the things that, you know, their natural gifts, but if they have a big heart and they're willing to do what it takes, no matter what, then you can pretty much coach them to be a winner. All right, Stan Pederick, the steamer has taught me how to win, how to fight fear, and how to fight through pain. Now I'm gonna put it all together and uh, teach some people some stuff here. Are you folks ready? I'll take you on, whoa, I'll take you on one-on-one, -on -one. I'll take you all at one time, bring it on. Are you ready? Coach, how did I do? You learned from Mr. Pederick. I did. He taught you how to win. I know how to win. He taught you how to survive. I know how to survive. He taught you how to face your fears. He taught me how to fight my fa the fears and pain, not everything. Everything. But he didn't teach me how to speak. Me neither. I'm out of oxygen. Me too. I'm a champion. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not really nice. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Stop, I can't do that. Stop, that's unethical. <sighs> I've never done this before in my life. That was so fake. That was so fake. Guess what? Let's do it for real this time. I'm gonna try the principles again. This isn't Hollywood, this isn't a movie. This is about being honest, being a good public relations person, and being transparent. All right, let's do this properly, the way it should be done. Thank you. Stop the camera. Stop the camera. 
Go to Black. I need an ambulance. Ambulance. Quick. And a nurse. You're no knobs. You're not an ambulance attendant. <laughs> Help me. Let me bandage you up. Help me. I think he's dead. Quickly. I, I can't hear okay. anything. Thank you. Nothing. Thank you. <sighs> Help me. From San Pedericks. Home of a humble warrior. We've learned how to win, fight fear, and fight pain. Thank you. Ken Hurricane Himes for VI Sports, the sports guy that's not shy.